Hello and welcome to another video for TasMcCarthy.com. This one outlining how to use Illustrator to make your manufacturing drawing for the Mars Design Challenge. Now a couple of reminders before we go on. All of your pieces for your design concept must fit inside an A4 size sheet. The end material is 2mm thick sheet aluminium that will be laser cut. And all pieces must fit together without nuts, bolts or screws, meaning that you're going to have to design in slots where they slot together and you should have been practicing this with cardboard first. The first thing to do is to set up a new file using A4. If you're unsure of the measurements, just pick A4 from the presets here. It doesn't really matter which way you have it, but we'll stick with portrait and we hit OK. We previously used Illustrator to draw some nice organic shapes for logos and things like that. But in this case, we're after precision. So we have to approach the tools in a different way. The main tool we'll probably use is the line tool, which you can click and drag. And it will give you some parameters. Next to the cursor there, right now it's telling us that it's 107.28 millimeters long and it's at zero degrees which means it's flat. And it's very hard to get this accurate to how we want so there's several ways we can overcome this. The first is to do a single click after we've selected a tool. So we click once and then a box will come up and we can tell it that we want a line whatever length we want in millimeters so 100 millimeters and we might want it facing straight up 90 degrees. Hit OK. There's our perfect line. So we know that's exactly how we like it. Once you have something selected, you can come up and click on Transform and it will let you change some of the parameters here. For instance, now I might want it to be 90 millimeters. Hit Enter and it transforms. This works exactly the same for any of the other tools. Say I have a leg or another section which is basically a rectangle. If I click once, I'll get the box coming up to tell me what size it is and I might want it to be 20 by 150 and I get my box just how I like it. I can of course once the pieces are finished rotate and move them around to get it to fit. Now it's a good example of it being tricky I couldn't rotate it 90 degrees so I can come up to here until at 90 and hit enter and I'll get that precise movement. When you finish drawing a shape, which we'll do here, there's a very important step that has to come. When you've got all of your pieces lined up, you'll see that when we click on them, or if I hover over, it's only highlighting that one shape, it's not counting it as one big shape. So you need to highlight all of the pieces of the shape and then you go to Object, Path, Join and there's a shortcut on a PC Control J or on a Mac Command J. Once we hit that, you'll see that hovering over it treats it all as one shape. This is very important for once we finish the shape and we want to move it around on the page. It'll hold it all together for us. If we undo that and then try and move, you'll see that only small pieces come off. A tip that you might find really useful is to turn on the grid. If you go to Edit Preferences, Guides and Grid, it'll let you control how the grid is set up. Now I've set up mine here to have a unit of 2 centimeters, 20 millimeters, with 10 subdivisions. And if I hit OK and then go to View, Show Grid, and then also View, Snap to Grid, and I zoom in, it's like working on grid paper, and I know these main lines are 2 centimeters apart with 10 subdivisions. So each one of these little squares is 2 millimeters. That means I can draw across to here and I know that is 18 millimeters. 
It also means if I'm using something like the pen tool, the way it's going to snap to the grid, it's going to make it a perfect curve for me there. And I can continue drawing my piece. Now say I wanted to have a slot in this section. I know that this is 2 mils, so it's just a matter of drawing my slot as far as I would like and I know I have a, a slot that's going to interact nicely with other pieces. Once this shape is finished, like we discussed before, select it all, Command J on a Mac and it will be joined all together. You can of course turn off the grid or the snapping to the grid at any stage just by coming back to the view menu and turning those off. One more tip, the manufacturer has recommended that we try, where possible, have a small radius of about 3 millimeters on anything possible in our drawing. So these slots for instance it won't work because we need a nice square edge for them to slot together. But any other lines like this it's so probably a good idea to turn on the grid and then using the pen tool drag a nice perfect radius on the end. Once you have made all of your parts it might be a good idea to print them out and stick them onto cardboard and cut them out just to see if they're all slotting together how you intend and then remembering to save your file just in the default AI format for submission. Good luck.